Hello and welcome everyone, our heart here, and today I've got a first look battle preview of Total War Saga Troy. Big thanks to Creative Assembly for giving me access to this battle preview. I'm uploading two videos uh, from this battle build today, that's what I'm allowed to do with the embargo. This first one, as you can tell, we are playing as the man himself, not played by Brad Pitt though this time, Achilles. And then later on today, I'll be uploading another video playing this battle, but as Hector. So uh, make sure you tune in for that. Um, I've been given access to this build. Obviously, it's normally a build that I would travel to a press event for. Uh, for this one, though, I've been given access for 24 hours, although busy with recording schedule and other life stuff. Only had a couple of hours to dive into this uh, so far. So uh, this is very much going to be my raw first impressions of the battle system in Total War Saga Troy. Obviously, still very much a work in progress. Don't know how old this build is, but from past experience playing these preview builds at events and then seeing how things change to the final release, uh, balancing, UI, uh, graphics and things like that could well all change a fair bit. I wouldn't say any of this right now that you're seeing, you know, should be classed as final. It's all likely still being worked on. Uh, as I said, don't know how old this specific build is, but hopefully it gives you guys a good idea of what to expect from battles in Total War Saga Troy. Uh, let me know down in the comment section, perhaps top three things you like, top three things you don't like uh, that you see in this video and the same for the Hector video that I'll release later on today. So uh, this battle preview, we have two difficulty modes uh, that we can try out easy and hard. We're doing this on easy first and then we'll do a hard battle and then probably I'll do a third battle where I just do lots of cinematic shots because it's going to be fairly frantic uh, diving around the map, uh, showing off all the units and obviously getting the attacks uh, in because obviously we want to try and win where possible but uh, we'll, we'll kick things off first though by going through the unit details now i believe this is actually built on the warhammer engine so a oh, lot of the ready. units that should look fairly familiar uh, for those uh, that have played warhammer games it certainly looks uh, fairly familiar with all the bits down the bottom here and the the hit point system and all that i should say i'm playing this on ultra graphic settings although the preview build was uh, locked to large unit size. I don't know if this game's going to get an extreme unit size like we got for Three Kingdoms, um, but I would imagine there will be at least one more unit size above this, ultra unit size at least, and that will take units uh, a bit larger. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not allowed to show you guys the graphic settings or anything like that, but yeah, playing this on ultra settings, pretty much everything enabled. And if you want to check out my PC specs, you can uh, find that on my YouTube channel's uh, About tab. So yes, Achilles, he's an epic hero. Let's see his health there, he's got his armor, morale, speed, melee attack, defense, insane amount of damage. Uh, but then he is Achilles. That's split between weapon damage, arm piercing, bonus versus heroes, and uh, attack interval that all combines together to give that damage stat. Charge bonus, then we can see all of his various attributes and uh, abilities there. Um, so this little meter here, um, that denotes rage, which you build up uh, by having your heroes fight. And when they have enough rage, they can then activate certain abilities. We've got Ares Rage. We've got Cleave. We've got Blood of Heracles. We've got Terrify. And we've got Divine Challenge, which um, I don't think it works quite like the dual system. They don't necessarily... You don't get like a bar where they... Uh, lock in like they do in 3k but they do go and fight one another um, it's just not as sort of a big fanfare as such but they still go and fight one another in fact I've seen when the unit models just attack one another uh, normally they start doing um, sort of synced matched combat animations anyway which is pretty cool but yeah, you want to activate that to, to do a divine challenge uh, we've also got the uh, Aristia here which is sort of his like ultimate ability which he can activate once he's got enough rage, once that's built up and activated, uh, it would seem, uh, while fighting. So let's go through his units. I should say, apologies if I butcher the pronunciation of any of these units. Awaiting orders. Uh, I'll get better once uh, I get more access. Uh, so we've got uh, Thessalian Marines. These guys are two-handed spear infantry. Uh, their weight class is light. So that's, that's one of the things they're bringing in with Troy, uh, weight class. Uh, a lot of emphasis... Uh, on light, medium, and heavy infantry because this sort of era very much big focus on uh, the infantry battles. Um, so the experts in flanking, the chargers, swift foot, deal their damage there. They can hide in scrub and forest, stalk, uh, and flanking attack improves. So yeah, flanking is very key in this. Flanking and terrain were some of the, the big things 
uh, that we got told about alongside this battle preview uh, build that we're given access to. So we'll take a look at train in a moment. We've got two units of those Thessalian Marines. Uh, Pelagic Thessalians. They are two-handed spear infantry as well, so they're slightly better than the Marines. Their stats there. They're medium weight class as well. And they've got an excellent charge. So again, we'll use those guys for flanking. Then we've got... Let's actually take a look at these guys. You can see their, their unit models as well. Show the difference. Nasty looking spears. Then we've got the spear fighting Myrmidons. Which look pretty darn awesome. So they're medium weight class. They're excellent battle speed. Immune to flanking. So they won't take any penalties from getting flanked. Uh, they're shielded and they can switch weapons. So this is another uh, cool new feature with uh, the War Saga Troy. You've got this button here. Toggle alternative attack mode. So if we actually watch their model here. You'll start seeing uh, their units one by one. Putting their shields on their backs. And then going to a two handed grip on their spears and you'll actually see their stats change so at the moment take a look at their damage 125 uh their melee attack 50 those are probably the key ones to check out uh, and keep an eye on so toggle uh, alternative attack mode and then you'll start seeing them yeah putting their shields behind them and then gripping their spears with both hands i don't know if they're perhaps going to speed up this animation uh, or make more of them do it at the same time it does seem to take them a while uh, as you can see, the damage has now gone up to 165. Their melee attack, 62. Obviously, at the cost of defense, though, because obviously they don't have that shield anymore. I really like this. This is like little things like that, like this, that just add and add, you know, depth to battles is the direction that I want to see Total War games going. And this is just super cool because we've already had like hybrid units in Total War games for quite some time. But I don't think we've ever had them, you know, where you can actually see them switch their uh you know their attack mode as such and go from a a, a one-handed spear unit and shield to a two-handed spear unit which is pretty cool uh, i'm wondering if that shield on the back adds any extra uh missile defense if they've got their backs uh, against missile units that would be interesting to know but uh, yeah that's so that's pretty cool what's that here a two-handed melee missile parry so yeah they don't have as much with that or oh, re rear shield defense though rear shield so yeah they should get the bonus then that's pretty cool then doesn't give us any extra info on that, but yeah, has enabled rear shield defense. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, we'll toggle that back so that they're uh, using their shields again. What a bit. That animation's really cool as well. Really nice. Yeah, this guy at the front here, he's a bit slow. Come on. There we go. Grab it. He's ready. So that's the spear fighting Myrmidons. Spears. Uh, and we've got two of them. We've Swords! also got the Myrmidon Swordsman. They don't have an alternative attack mode. They've just got, you know, they're just... Um, sword and shield a solid troop though and these guys as well I believe they are unbreakable yes so these guys really good at tying up enemy uh, you know heavy units elite units because uh, these guys just won't break they'll keep on fighting so you can bog them down with these mighty myrmidons uh, then yeah so we've got two units of myrmidons uh, swordsmen two of the spear fighting variant and then we've got javelin throwers of uh, very lightly armoured. Skirmish, armour piercing. All their damage has got 100 range. Oh, that's just javelin throws. Okay, we've got we've got different variants. Okay. Ginian uh, javelin men here. So these guys, a little bit more armour. Um, and they've got they've got shields as well, haven't they? We will. Oh, okay, cool. Nice, nice. So a bit more damage. Oh, uh, they're, they're much shorter range, though. Okay, so Javelin Throw is 100 range. These guys have got 60. They do more damage. So, up close and personal. Slightly uh, longer range on the Javelin Throwers. Then chariots we've got ready. our reinforced chariots. Right at the back here. Looking particularly nasty. And then finally, we've got the Savage Centaur Warriors. Ready. Which look... Uh, Pretty uh, Dothraki. Nice little shield you got there. Yeah, they look cool. They're heavy cavalry. Charger. Good morale. Shield so get them in for a nice solid charge. Should hopefully help break enemy uh, formations. Right, let's do this battle. So we're going to do it on easy. Then we'll try it out on hard. 
Uh, even if we end up losing this one, hopefully we won't though. I'm going to put my chariots over on the right. We'll just deploy everyone, then I'll talk quickly about terrain. And uh, then we'll get around to fighting the battle. Cavalry over on the uh, on the left there. So these guys... Actually, I'll pop that back open there. These guys are my light infantry. So I want them flanking. I'm going to have them over here. And then these guys over on the right. But I'm going to put them straight into the forest so they get uh, hidden there. I have the Myrmidons in the center to hold. We'll have Achilles in with them as well. As Javelins, I think. Yeah, you're on skirmish mode. I'm going to have you guys here. Try and flank with you guys there. Good. Right. Let's talk terrain and then we'll finally fight this battle. So, uh, we've got sort of three terrain modifier types. We've got mud, which we've got down here. So, mud slows down heavier units and reduces their combat effectiveness. So, you want to try and draw uh, heavy infantry or heavy cavalry class troops uh, down into the mud to slow them down reduce their combat effectiveness and then charge in with your light troops we've got the um tall grass over here so that allows you to hide uh light infantry in them so you can set up you know sneaky uh ambushes and things like that and then obviously we've got forest and scrubs and they reduce the speed and combat effectiveness of uh, large units and allow some troops to hide as well as provide a 40 percent chance for missiles to be blocked I think that's all the kind of key features again there's, there's a lot to sort of take in uh with this battle build but uh let's begin i'll probably dive into uh, slow-mo a fair bit in fact um, we'll just pause briefly to have a quick look at hector and his units although i'll go into more detail with them when i fight this battle as hector the interesting uh shadows there going on graphic glitch so there is hector turn that on so we can see him a lot of damage from him as well he is a, uh, a sort of, I guess, like a sentinel type unit. Very much focused on defense, uh, whereas Achilles is focused on offense. So we've got some Trojan slingers, swordsmen. He's got a, a minotaur as well, which is a powerful hero unit joining him in there. We'll try and avoid him where possible. Trojan warriors. And then we've got... Trojan defenders as well. More warriors over on that side. And the units that we're facing will change between easy and hard. We get more on our side, as does Hector. It's gets more powerful units as well. Guards of Troy. They're cool. Little domed shields. There we go. So that's a brief little look at what Hector's bringing to the battle. Let's fight him. So, I'm going to send my cavalry, cavalry flank on around that way. Same with my chariots. Pop you guys to glory. straight into the trees. Spears. I want to try and draw them towards the mud a little bit. So, I'm going to get my javelins going around here. And these light infantry, if I can get them into the cool grass there to hide, that'd be pretty good. Bring the chariots behind. To say as well, have a quick look at the uh, at the battle map that we're on. I believe that is the the city of Troy in the background. Although I don't know if that's its kind of final stage or an early stage of the city. Right, they're heading to us. Charge on forward. Let's get stuck in. Bring the cavalry round to go after the slingers. Let's move the javelins around to flank and the light infantry. Uh, slow mo it. So we've got Blood of Heracles that provides rage when activated. So you want to build up as much rage as possible, um, as quickly as possible with Achilles to unleash his devastating abilities. Meanwhile, Hector, he does a lot of healing for his unit, so he's a good support. See the chariots smashing on through the Trojan defenders. We want to get them out. Set up another charge. Set my javelins onto the Trojan warriors over there. Break them. And move in with the light troops for a good flank. Where well, those guys are pulling back. I think guard mode's a bit squiffy in this. 
Yeah, you guys are pulling back as well. Let's send them all in and watch this cavalry charge. Savage centaur warriors thunder on in. Chariots going to the Trojan defenders. Let's activate some more abilities. Let's terrify these guys with Achilles. We'll activate his Aristia. We're fighting Hector. Go, go, go. Okay, those guys have shattered. Yeah, the battle's swinging off Ava. This this easy battle goes very, very quickly. I'm hoping that with uh, more tweaking and tuning over time, they uh, slow down the battles. I do you find the, the preview event battle builds often are a fair bit faster than the final game. There we go. So he's going to go straight in and start fighting Hector. Kicking him. Collect everyone else and send them away. Go after the Minotaur. Not built up enough to do our Aristia, but we'll do that in the hard battle, I'd have thought. You can see those two. Duking it out, facing one another. Okay, we can do our divine challenge on him. And now they should be locked into combat. We can't use the Aristia while he's in a challenge. Who will win? Hector's got more hit points. Well, I do more damage. We'll let the troops just do their thing. Go after the Minotaur. We'll come back and take a look at Hector and Achilles. Going for one another. There we go. So, he's now got a buff to his armor. His melee attack increases as well. Activate all of his abilities, give him the best chance of trying to defeat Hector. I am mighty. Fight. Bring him down. Bring him down. Ooh, very nice. Who will win the showdown? Oh. Hector's given up. Coward. Finish him off, Achilles. Right, he's now gone berserk. That should finish off Hector. <laughs> Just going to charge on round. Trying to bring him down. He's down. There are some uh, some pretty cool sync kills, though. Unfortunately, we didn't get one there because Hector gave up. But anyway, so that's the easy battle. We'll now try this battle on hard difficulty. Uh, I haven't been able to win it in my test, so um, I don't have particularly high hopes. But we do get a few more units to check out. But um, yeah, we'll dive on over that. Here's the Minotaur being chased by all my units. Stabbing at him with little daggers. Flee, flee for your life. Get some panning shots over the battlefield.
Let's head on over to hard mode. There he stands. The mightiest of warriors. Achilles. So... Here we are now on the hard battle difficulty mode for this uh, battle preview. We've got some new units to check out first. I've already deployed them all though. So we'll check them out and then we'll begin the battle. So we've got some spearmen down here now. Nice shields. Apologies for butchering the pronunciation of the next few units. Uh, feel free to correct me down in the comment section. We've got 15 spears. And these guys have uh, an alternate uh, attack mode as well. They can swap from spear and shield to two-handed spear. Pretty cool. Switch them back. We've got two units of the Fifteen Spears. Then we've got a unit of renowned Fifteen Spears, which are a considerable uh, boost to their stats over the regular Fifteen Spears. Up from 85 damage to 125. Spears! They're all the way up here. See, they've got more, more armor Troy. as well. To fear. Troy is nothing to fear, apparently. Good to know. They look pretty awesome. See, I'll try see if I can try out that uh, alternate attack mode in this battle. Then we've got Champions of Pythia. These guys are Club and Shield Infantry. They are heavyweight class, as are the uh, renowned Pythian Spears and regular Pythian Spears. But yeah, these guys, frontline, armored and shielded. And then uh, Javelins, we've got three Javelin Throwers. Light Swordsmen, two of them. We've got uh, Ginian Runners, which I've popped over on my right. Not a lot of armor. They do have a little missile attack, so that could be quite useful. Uh, then we've got the Thessalians. It's one of uh, them and the Marines. And then we've got the spear fighting Myrmidons and the sword. Uh, or the Myrmidon swordsman, rather. Now, instead of a re I think it was a reinforced chariot we had before, we've just got a regular chariot unit. So. Not quite as powerful. They're a medium chariot. They should still be okay. And the Savage Centaur Warriors, we still got them. Uh, my Dothraki friends. So we'll see how we do with them. So let's have a quick look at my deployment and then we will begin. So uh, I'm forming up over here, trying to put an emphasis on the left, try and draw the heavy infantry of Troy through the mud. That'll be the plan. These guys I'm going to pop into the forest again. Pop these guys up to support, try and get some flanking because. Uh, from what I gather so far, at least from my playtime no uh, with this build, you know, flanking is key with all this infantry warfare. So we've got chariots over on the right. We've got the cavalry over on the left. Let's uh, let's begin. Send them around there. We will do a pause though to check out Hector's new units because he doesn't have his um, he doesn't have his slingers anymore. He has got archers. And these guys aren't just any old archers. They are renowned archers. So let's bring up their stats there. So they are medium weight class. They've got a range of 160. So they're going to be troublesome to deal with. They massively outrange my javelins. Oh, Hector there at the front. So yeah, I think they've got three units of renowned archers. Maybe two at the moment. Yeah, another unit back there. Got the uh, Minotaur again. And then we've got Guards of Troy. I believe there's more of them this time. We've got Hector's Chosen. Incredibly powerful sword and shield infantry. I'll go through all of his units though more. Obviously in my second video out later today. Where I uh, where I play as Hector. See if we can defeat Achilles. Trojan Defenders. Just more of them. Champions of Troy. Heavily armoured. Spear units. Going to be very solid. Trojan Warriors, and then over here they've got some Spear Fighters. And more heavy Trojan Spearmen. Finally, just check this side as well. Heavy Trojan Spearmen, Trojan Warriors, and Spear Fighters. Right. The battle begin. So, I'm going to try and pull these guys around here a bit. Draw them to the mud. Now, I want my... Uh, Myrmidons here, ideally, to uh, keep Hector busy. That's my hope. We get the cavalry round to go off the archers. Yes, 
There you go. Get off those spears. Get the chariots, don't worry about them. Just ignore them then. Cavalry, come on up. Right, push forward. We'll get Achilles in against Hector's Chosen. Sending his best unit in. Flank on round here. Cavalry in you go. Get you guys in for a flank. Those guys have shattered. In you guys go. Right, let's pop it on slow-mo so we can see what the heck is going on. I'm not going to divine challenge Hector. He is very powerful. Just in general, but also I believe... I don't know if his stats have actually been changed. Or hard difficulty. But we definitely don't want to fight him. Until he's a lot weaker. Let's have a little look at what's going on here. I don't think we'll have time, unfortunately, for me to do another, another battle after this. cinematics. I'll try and get some more cinematics in my Hector video. I've got a total of 70 minutes I can show you guys, but this one's probably going to end up about 35, 40 odd minutes at least. But yeah, hopefully I have more access to Total War Saga Troy in the coming months, and I'll be able to do some sort of deeper dives I think those should actually be working. Not a problem. Swords. All right. Masters of war. Fly straight in there. Wipe them out. Yes. Onward, warrior. No I obey. I like actually, I should send my chariots into these guys. A good chariot charge through here. it. Power on through. Do it again. How are we doing over here? Pretty well. Flanking is working. Problem here is that we've got the Minotaur fighting us as well, and I do not want to fight him. He's a big, nasty boy. Yeah, you can see we've already lost a fair bit of health on Achilles. You are mighty, but you're not You're not invincible. And they've got archers, so watch out for your Achilles. Hungry for glory. Spears, no mercy. Born to battle. Go, off, go after Hector. At least if you're going to go down, go down fighting Hector. There we go. Use your godlike powers. Oh, that melee attack. 105 and 1,365 on the damage. He's going to go down. He's going to go down. Yeah, peak power. I am mighty. Go berserk as well. Hey, hey. This is a, a 1v1 duel. Go away, Minotaur. Oh, no. He's run away. He's tapped out. Spears, do a flankety flank. Hungry for glory. Spears. Go, 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 go. Waiting orders. I don't have control over him because he's berserk at the moment. Oh, and that's going to be Achilles down, I think. He's not getting up after that. Rip Achilles. That'll probably see me lose out of thought. We'll see. Bring all these guys up. He's probably one of the, the best um, 
attempts I've had so far on this. Don't know if I can beat Hector, though. The thing is, he heals, as you can see, with that little icon there. The booger heals. I didn't switch any of you guys over. Where is it? Switch you guys over. Try and get the chariots in there for a big old charge. I think we're going to be at a disadvantage, though, that we've lost uh, Achilles. Ready to serve. As order. Come on, chariots. Get a big old charge if we can. I get you. guess you're pretty tired, yep. Yeah. Can we go? Oh, no. Bye. Ares, your warriors are rallying. Good. Now oh, the grace of the gods. Getting there. Okay, he's used his divine power as well. There's Aristia. These Trojan defenders in the center have just held like bosses. Got them over there. Get round. Set up the flanks. Uh, chariots need you come back. Minotaur. Having the Minotaur and Hector. Pretty tough. I guess it's only fair. We did we did kill uh, Hector. Last battle. He's just getting his revenge. All right, we swap these guys over. Two-handed spear time. Charge on in. Skewer them good. Oh, that looked nice. Foes beware. Making it happen. As you say. At once. Onward, warriors. Going to try and break the champions of Troy. Without question. In we go. Hold. He's rallied. Good. Come on. Break those champions. Get a bit of a run up for the charge as well. Oh, they've broken. Okay, go, 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 go. No, you're only javelin throwers, but still. Spears. That cavalry broke them. Well, they've all broken. In good order. Making it happen. On the go, infantry, go. Understood. Pose beware. Well, I'm glad the attempt I decided to record is the one Spears. where I get closest to defeating them. They're down to 249. But I reckon they've still got... Two strong troops left. Let me do anything against. Plus, they still got their heroes. I mean, he's nearly fully healed. That is pretty powerful. But again, I imagine this will get a, a lot of balancing. Take care, we're losing ground. Yeah, we're about to lose, I think. Men are rallying. For the gods. For our fallen Lord Achilles. Smash them. Warriors are breaking. Yeah, they flanked me. Oh, that's Hector's chosen. Oh, it's the Minotaur. Damn it. I'm down to 188. I think he's just activated. Yeah, his divine focus. We can't do anything against that. He is too strong. We'll just watch our men's last stand.
Going in for a kick there. Hector, Hector and the Minotaur really going in for the big old smashes there. Oh, more of their troops coming in. Oh, they're fast. That's a charge. I say it's just the the Myrmidons, so they will fight to the end. Ooh. Last one. He's down. GG Hector. Well, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, first look, this battle preview of Total War Saga Troy. As I said, I will have another video out later on today in an hour or two's time where I play as Hector. We'll do both easy and hard mode. See if we can uh, win both of those. And uh, yeah. Let me know your thoughts, what you've seen so far down in the comment section. What did you like? What did you dislike? Uh, what are your thoughts on Troy so far? Until the next one, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, take pride on the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors, Games Planet and Overclockers UK. Till the next one, ciao for now.